Building up on our last video here, we're going to move on to the subtraction property of equality. So what is the subtraction property of equality? A equals B, then A minus C equals B minus C. This is known as the subtraction property of equality. Once again, we're solving equations here. A minus C equals B minus C. Let's use this in an example, all right? Uh, very similar to the addition property of equality, um, but this time we're subtracting. So for example, we have X plus three equals six. Well, we're gonna subtract this time. What we do on the left side of the equal sign, we need to do on the right side. So let's go ahead and minus three uh, on the left side and minus 3 on the right side of the equation. We left with x equals 3 because 6 minus 3 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0. Moving forward so you can get a concrete understanding, let's give you another example here. All right. 20 t plus 5 equals 45. Well, we're going to subtract 5 on both sides, all right? That leaves the 20t by itself, right? And this 45 minus 5 equals 40. Let's divide both sides by 20, and we're left with t by itself on the left side, and 40 divided by 20 on the right side is 2. So t equals 2, maintaining equality, all right? Just focus on the subtraction part at the moment. Now let's give you another example here. Negative 101 equals T plus 100. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 100 on both sides. All right. In order to isolate the T. Now the T is by itself because 100 minus 100 is 0. And now we subtract 100 on the left side, which gives us negative 201. So T equals negative 201. Once again, this is the subtraction property of equality. You notice on the right side how we use the subtraction property of equality to cancel out the positive 100. 